Hey guys, it's Revenger2 here. Welcome back to the high. We're going to do Cayo Perico, we're, but we're going to take a look at the setups and I'm going to explain all the setups. So here we go. So we need to gather the intel first and this is what we're going to talk about in today's video is the intel part. So all the secondary target locations, all of the uh, grappling hook locations, which there are plenty and there will probably be links to a interesting map that you can see on at the end of the video um but first we're running on kyle here and yeah let's get started so the hangar behind us is always where is a good place to start it has maximum four items minimal three i do believe at least one of the containers all at least two of the containers in there have something so hopefully let's get into it so we're going to go into the hangar here and let's see what we got. So on the screen right about here, uh, you see that this red square and the yellow and the red arrow equals target location and the green boxes represent um, objects to use to get to the top, um, the forklift and the box itself. So go ahead, take a picture, you know, uh, of the targets like normal. Um, in this case, there's two, one on each side of the table. Make sure you look with your camera and take one picture of one object, not one picture of both objects. It will only count for one object. So take both pictures, send them to Pavel, and then go around here, go to where these tires are, go in between them, and go up this ladder right here. And then you'll be able to take a picture of this, these secondary objectives. See, there's four in this hangar today. Um, one cocaine, two cash, one weed, and right now, so... I want to jump down here, if I get on this box, okay, here we go. Um, so here's the forklift that you need to get into and to move the box over until you see up above right where that triangle, that blue triangle is at, blue triangle tarp. The, the box is literally straight across in the hangar. So we're going to go exit here, we're going to go towards the, go towards the power station and the AC control tower. Uh, the power station you required to take a photo of and the AC tower, which is air control tower, you were required to take a photo of before you leave. Guard clothing, possible location will be right here besides this blue box. A guard truck location will be right here coming up in this little area that I'm running around in right about now. Guard clothing option number two for the airstrip will be up here, which there is some. Which is a which is very good because you know their you know guard clothing is one of the easier ways to get into the facility. I'm mean, into this building right here, and you'll see at least one more, if minimum zero, maximum two targets. And here, take pictures of them um, on high stay. They will be here. But when you come out of here on high stay, there will be a camera. We have a camera on that building, just shoot it off when the guard's not looking. You know, pretty simple. Other than that, let's clear off the air airstrip. And at the end of the airstrip, there could be some grappling hooks. So, it's pretty, but it's pretty far out of the way. So let's go to the north drop zone. North drop zone right here. So you will take get off the bike, and you need to take a picture of this building per se right here to unlock the north drop zone. The airstrip. The the airstrip will be unlocked when you immediately get to Cayo Preco for the first time. Um, and to the party area will also be unlocked as the infiltration point. This dock right here can hold a guard clothing. So if there's guard, no guard clothing on, on the airstrip, you can come down here to this dock and there'll be some down there. So go all the way to the end. If there's no guard clothing, just move along. Go on to the north dock here. This is also an infiltration point and an exit point. Okay, so go around, you know, go into these buildings, take the picture of the targets, you know, same thing. 
Uh, this time it's just one objective. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's none. But yeah, right in this spot right here is guard clothing. Or up that tower right there could be a grappling hook. I'll show you more in a second. Take a picture of these objectives. I see there's only two in here. Uh, as I'm tr just focusing on this tower, there's there could be a grappling hook up there. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Go around, there could be a guard truck right in this area right here. Change my line. And you can also take a picture of this area, which will, will unlock the North Dock area. Go across the waterway here and go to this area over here. Uh, this lever and this door requires two people. I sh will be shown in a picture momentarily, but this one has has three options so make sure you take a picture of all three tables one two and three just in case you do have two people and there is something else something good in here um so you need for one person needs to hold this lever right here on the screen so on the screen will be a picture uh requires two people and there you go. So, and now you move along the island. Keep on going. Keep on scoping out the targets. As noted in a previous video of mine, I've never been able to get through this the correct way. So, I'm going to do it my way. You know, my way seems to be a bit more fun. You know, got to wait a little bit on the guard. Make sure he turns. And do a backflip fail miserably but luckily i'm not punished you know by getting caught if i get caught then that would have been bad you know but you know i get out of it pretty quickly um go down here go towards the main dock area you know go towards this building right here wait until this guard right here turns the corner then you can start walking now because his vision will be past you where this green propane tank is at, there could be a guard truck right in front of me here. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Um, here is another target. There's only one target in this building. Sometimes there's two or none. But it is whatever your game decides it's going to allow. So get back on your dirt bike, go around, go around the outskirts of the North Dock. Um, you know, be careful, you know, don't die because you will restart back at the airstrip. Just, you know, take your time. You get knocked off the bike a couple times here because, you know, trees and rocks. And you see the map on the screen shows you where I started to where I gone. Go inside this, this barn area and just wait for the guard to pass again just so he can get his vision out of your, out of range. Just in case you get caught. There's, once again, more targets in here. And you keep on finding finding the targets. You keep on, you know, keep going on. Just make sure here's the guard truck for this location. Um, so the, like the guard trucks will be random every time you do the heist, because that's how it works. Um, here's part of the main dock. Go to this spot or to another area to where you're able to. Take a photo of the main dog, like so, and like so right here, and you will be able to unlock the point of to infantry and exit. Um, go over it this way. If you already have the, the main dog unlocked, just, just skip that dot part and just go straight over here. This part coming up is another two car two person to requires two people to get the, the contents inside as you see that the locks the same it's, it's a rising gate door not rising garage door as i should say um this this one has three as you see has three tables and all three of them are filled so when you're taking pictures make sure you take pictures of all of them if you're going to do this with two or more people so you can have the maximum amount of loot. It, even if you do get bad spawns of uh, gold inside the compound. Because gold can only spawn inside the compound. Um, so swim out. You know. Avoid the guard. You know. Just 
be smart about it because he does turn around in this instance my game so be wary of that be wary of the guard patterns sometimes he walks around this big barn so and that gives you plenty of time to take the picture avoid any oncoming trucks you know and you know take pictures as normal all right that picture is taken and that's the last picture for this this area this main dock area and now we're going to head to the south drop zone to take a picture of that and unlock that point for you guys i've already unlocked all the points of interest and i've already unlocked all the infiltration points and exfiltration points so you know so that's why they're not popping up on my screen and i'm you know just showing you as helpful being helpful um just come down here go through this circle you can pretty much just take a picture of the porty potty and it will unlock here here's the picture of the south drop zone and its location on the map compared to the compound and let's head up to the communications tower now and zoom up up there and to do the hacking mini game um pretty much the hacking mini game is self-explanatory sometimes uh, I'll explain it some more when we get to the tower. If the guard is at the bottom here, the, then the, the box will be at the top on the higher levels. If no guard, it will be on the bottom. It's a good design. So th this time my box is on the second level. Well, the second set of ladders. So the, the object of this is to get the target number. The X is 10. The one with two lines is 2x, and the one with just one line in it that looks like a square with a line through it is 1. So just match the target numbers, it's, it's math, and you know, just do it as fast or as slow as you can. It's fine, it's not going to fail you if you take too long. Yes, it will reset, but you, you get another set of numbers. So go through the camera fees on your phone, you know, self-explanatory. Go through every camera to unlock everything. The first three cameras are useless. The animal cages, the panther, and the courtyard. They're very useless because there's nothing in them to provide intel. The basement, obviously swing your camera from from the to, to the left. And if you have something in the case, you can stop, or if you don't nothing in the case, switch all over, go to the basement storage, and swing your camera from the left all the way to the right, and discover all the, all the secondary targets, there can be two things on the table, or two paintings, um, make sure in the office to swing this, the first camera all the way to the right, and the second camera all, all the way to the right as well, from the left. There, there can be two paintings in his office as well. Go through the storage cams. I got pretty unlucky. There's a painting that can be unlocked right there. There could be gold or cash sitting there. On cam two, there's cash sitting here. Sometimes it can be gold. As I said, just continuously go through the cameras of every storage building. The storage buildings require two people. They require two people because they require two key cards to be swiped at the same time. So if you're doing the high solo, unfortunately you can't get it because Rockstar keeps patching the the the, the keeps patching the walls so people can't get into them solo. Um, so you need the key card with someone. As you see there, I got did get a painting and make sure you turn this last camera all the way to the right to unlock that one because that, that one's missed a lot. So that's the end of the cameras uh, for the secondary targets inside. The north gate, swing the camera to the left, look at the door, zoom in on the door and the keypad, you unlock the north gate entrance, infiltration point, swing the camera to the right and zoom in at this wall here where the wall is broken. And yeah. In the main gate, swing the camera to the left. Sometimes a guard truck will spawn right here. And that would be where your guard truck would be at, which would be pretty unfortunate. South gate is just like the north gate. Look at the door and 
and look and we'll unlock the point and the same thing for the south wall and look at keep swinging until you see the broken fence and it will pop up as an entry point as if you have the grappling hook um so just exit out of the camera once you get through all the targets you don't need to go back to animal cages just you know so do i go up here i'm going to go up top here to check to see if there's a grappling hook there's sometimes there is a grappling hook at this point there are many grappling hooks around the map and they're they're spread across the map randomly and here is a grappling hook just for convenience sake this is what it looks like it's in a bag you know a black duffel bag with a grappling hook sticking out i'm going to parachute down here down to the last secondary target location potential secondary target location sometimes it could be nothing it's right in here this weed field nearly hit this worker there yeah just take a picture you, you just don't need to go over around but you can just take a picture um but other than that this is all the secondary targets however in this weed field there's sometimes cutting powder and the cutting powder will make the guards sick um primarily in daytime because there'll be less guards in daytime but it is unfortunately not here because i didn't see the glow it will spawn right in this little shack area and if it was there it would be glowing and you'd be able to pick it up and put it in the water towers there are two water towers on the map and you can put them in one of one of the two of them to eat to escape to return to the plane either get caught by a guard security what camera or doing? die fastest is get caught by a camera or a guard but if you jump from the communications tower and don't pull your parachute and hit the ground you will you will die and be returned to the island we be returned to the airstrip so you can leave but thank you guys um this has been the scoping out part if any questions a map will be portrayed at the end of the video a more detailed one of where all the entries and exits are and a link to gta web will also be in the description below if but if you liked the video you can like comment subscribe and to join the hive i appreciate it so much guys keep on being awesome keep on being you and prepare to be stung enjoy